HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good morning, HSC. I'm Marie Jurassic. And I'm John and Matthew Dykus, and we're here with this week's weekly update. Today's weekly update is sponsored by Sky Zone. Looking for something fun to do on the weekend? Check out Sky Jam and Sky Mania at www.skyzone.com slash fishers. Let's kick off this week with a look at your weather. Hello, HSC. I'm Jacob Moss with this week's weather forecast. On Monday, there is a high of 77 degrees, 80% chance with thunderstorms. On Tuesday, there is a high of 65 degrees, partially cloudy. Wednesday will be partially cloudy with a chance of rain and a high of 67 degrees. Thursday is going to be beautiful and sunny with a high of 73 degrees and clear skies. Friday will be partially cloudy with a high of 77. Have a great week, HSE. Here is a recap of what happened last week. Wind Ensemble Concert Born Band performed at the Isma State Finals Concert Band Festival last Saturday for the 16th time. The band was one of the bands from Indiana who qualified for the prestigious event. The band earned 13th at the event. Congrats to all the performers for again representing HSC High School so well. The band's final concert is this Thursday at 7 p.m. in the London Auditorium. The boys lacrosse team put the hammer down on the Westfield Shamrocks last Friday night. The halftime score was 4-0, HSC, and then the Royals started rolling, scoring 13 goals in the second half, making the most of every opportunity. The final was 17-8. It's Fisher's Week. The boys get a full five days of practice before ending the week with senior night against rival Fishers on Saturday at 7 p.m. Teachers and students get in free, so come support your boys as they finish up the season. Their best one yet. The boys track team finished second on Friday night at the county meet to number one ranked Carmel. The HSC jumpers put on a show breaking two school records and winning all of the jumping events. Ethan Bray won the pole vault with a jump of 16 feet 3 inches, a new school record. Francis Egebai cleared 6, six feet 9.5 inches, a new school record, on his way to victory. Tiger Guillory won the long jump with a jump of 23 feet 3.5 inches. Ben Wagner was the lone winner on the Oval winning the 3200. The Royals are next in action on Friday at the HCC Meach. The JV boys golf team won the Zionsville Invitational on Saturday and was led by Jake Hutmaker with 77. The Varsity State preview was canceled after 15 holes due to the weather. Many of the ASL students went to the Indiana School of the Deaf Carnival held on Sunday, May 3rd. There were many fun activities such as bubble soccer, a petting zoo, and even a zip line. We all enjoyed shops and booths inside of the gym as many different shows and performances were being held on stage. Celebrity Sean Barity from ABC Switched at Birth was there taking pictures and signing autographs. The ASL club presented a gift of $188 to the principal from, from our fundraiser. It was an overall great signing experience for the ASL students and an uplifting atmosphere. The Lady Rose varsity team beat the Lady Woodman of Greenwood Community High School 4-1. Savannah Copeland pitched a complete game with only one hit and striking out 14 Woodman batters. Before checking out what's going on this week, let's take a look at this week's teacher feature. I am Mrs. Mullen and I teach choir and beginning piano. I was Indianapolis 500 Queen back in 1999. I had the opportunity to represent Ball State in my hometown and was originally, of course, one of the 33 princesses. And then from the 33 princesses, they choose a queen. And I was fortunate enough to be the queen that year. I am a mom and a wife, and I have two children. I have a son, Jackson, who's a kindergartner here in our district. And then I have a daughter who is almost 12, and she is a sixth grader here in our district as well. I school every day because I love my job, and I love the people that I work with, particularly Mr. Porter, and my awesome student teacher this year, Ms. Banton. I do love teaching. I love my students. I love what I do every day, so it makes it easy to get up and come to work. For a Spice Girl, I would choose Posh because she's beautiful. She's a great singer and dancer. So there you go. Because Mrs. Mullen is my partner in crime, my wonder twin, Cheech and Chong. Great gal. For HSC TV, this has been Max Carlson and Kyle Johnson. 
As the school year winds down, please remember to return all library books by Wednesday, May 13th. You heard that right. All library books are due on Wednesday, May 13th. May 13th. The girls tennis team is doing a fundraiser this week, fundraiser this week called Serving for the Poor to help those less fortunate through the organization Food for the Poor. This organization provides third world countries with living essentials. You can help the cause by donating just one dollar. There will be a donation boxes, box at attendance and in the main office and some envelopes in teachers' classrooms to collect money. Also, the team will be honoring the cause at their home match on May 18th. This is it, HSE, the last chance this year to show your dodgeball dominance. The last dodgeball tournament of the year will be Tuesday, May 19th. All forms and money are due by no later than Monday, May 18th. Forms are available in Mrs. Johnson's room at the Freshman Center and Mrs. Carson's room at the main campus. Principal's Advisory Council is branching into a new club called Pack the House. Pack the House aims to raise school spirit and participation by encouraging attendance to one major student event each month. This month's event is the girls' tennis match against Carmel at home. Come out on May 13th to support your lady roles and hang out with the pack. A reminder to those 9th through 11th graders looking to run for class officers next year. Applications are due by 3 o'clock today. There's a brand new scholarship. HSC's Key Club is offering the 500 Kelly Link Scholarship to an HSC senior who exemplifies the characteristics of putting other people first through community service, kindness, and caring. Applications are available in guidance and the deadline is May 15th. Here's an important message to all students featuring our deans, Ms. Bacall and Mr. Rent. We're gonna find out who's getting through these doors and trying to bust through. Right, it's, it's expensive and it's dangerous and it's been a real problem, so I think we've got the live playback you're up yep. on that now? Yep. Okay, good. Yep, that's him right there. What is he doing? Oh my God, he's going to break the door. That's expensive. Ha! Got him! Just a reminder, students, if a door is locked, say to the courtyard or to the gym, please do not pull and break the doors. It's expensive to fix, and we wouldn't want you to have to pay to fix the door. All you need to do is just ask an adult to unlock the door, and if they can... They will. Please remember to respect our school's property. HSE RDM is having a car wash on Saturday, May 16th from 9 to 1230 at Kroger on Cumberland and 116th. Any committee member wanting to help needs to sign up with Mrs. Trinkle on A526. That is all we have for you today, HSE. Thank you for watching. Remember, HSE, dig through your lockers and return those long-lost books. Today, we're going to leave you with the newest Kegley's Corner. Make good choices. Have a great day, Jesse. Hi, welcome to the last edition of Kegley's Corner, where every other Monday, Mr. Kegley answers your questions. Let's get started. Justin asks, does the school support transgender students? Well, Justin, thanks for the question. It's our goal at HSE to support all students. So it's important to me and it's important to our staff to make sure if that's not going on that we're made aware of that so that we can be supportive of all students. Samantha says, I've been an honor roll student with good grades all throughout high school. I also play hockey and lacrosse, both under the HSC school name. Unfortunately, because both of my sports are club sports, I've never qualified for our school's student athlete award. Why do students who play HSC club sports not qualify for the student athlete awards given to students at the end of each year when we work just as hard as all the other student athletes? Is there a way to include student athletes like me for this year and future years? Samantha, that's a really good question and nobody wants to discount the effort and time spent by our students who are involved in club activities. However, our guidelines for recognition with athletic honors or academics has been tied exclusively to the sports that are supported through our school's athletic department. So, you know, that's something that we have done in the past and at least for the foreseeable future, we'll, we'll continue to do. Kristen asks, is there a way to start a club? If so, can it be a video game themed club like and other than Pokemon, Minecraft, or others? The best way to start a club is to bring a proposal to either Mr. Zawari at the Freshman Center or Mr. Hoover here at the main campus. Probably the second step then is to make sure that you have a faculty sponsor. You know, if you're interested in starting a club like this, those are the, the things that have to happen first. The, the request or proposal is usually taken to our administrative team for review, and if approved, then that club can begin to meet and move forward from there. Michael asks, when is the new part of the high school going to be finished? Well, Michael, our, um, our work is ramping up in the CCA on that end of the building, and with the, the goal of July 1st, 
being the completion date. We've got a lot of work to do this summer. We, as far as our school's concerned, in bringing our teachers that have been at the Freshman Center for the last three years back over here and getting every one of our staff members placed in rooms, whether they be in the CCA or in our current main campus building. We have had some spaces turned over to us that have been completed in the meantime. Any band student, orchestra student would, would probably tell you that they love the new space of the new band room and then there's a lot of work going on right now in the performing arts area. New choir room is being built. The natatorium was completed and it looks wonderful. It looks almost like you, you would never be able to tell that it had been added on to. So um, we're really excited about the projects that are done right now and we're looking forward to completion of the whole thing this summer. To all students, this is kind of our last formal edition of, of Kegley's Corner for the year and just want to thank you for your questions. It's my pleasure to take some time as often as we can to give you information, enlighten you on uh, things that we do around the school and just appreciate the opportunity and want to thank our HSC TV crew for all of their work, Jack and Marie, who've been asking the questions and behind the scenes. Thanks so much. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school.